Here. Oh, Chapo's new favorite is pears. Look, chopped up pears for old Chapo. What's going on, buddy? Is that good? He's been in his cage. Somebody woke me up at 5:45 this morning after a full day of looking yesterday and kayaking through choppy cold water. I was whipped and I get woke up by the squirrel man barking in here. Tell him squirrel man he's liking that pear. Tell him you like it. You like it. And you're all wound up. Tell him you're all wound up. Here. Look at this. <laughs> well I'm gonna go look some Amos safes today. Um, there's not as much stuff on them. It's way harder to find stuff, but I'll just try to suck it up, stay as long as I can, and find something. We'll see what I can get. Um, I'll get back on my first find. And this is my pet squirrel. You can go over to my playlist. I got tons of videos here. And one playlist is baby squirrel. You can see him as a baby. I found him outside. Look at him. He's all revved up. Tell him you're revved up. You're revved up. Tell him you're on a full tank. Of orneriness. Oh man, fake. See what I gotta deal with later. I'm up in here, the water's way up. But I'm looking up in here at the base of the bank, and that sure looks like a flint cell right here. Dude. Look at it. Oh, it is. It's a flint cell. Made a Crooksville church. That might not even be broke. That's a little cell. Look at that, laying out up in here. It's just tumbled right out of here. I'm taking screens in here and stuff. Man, that's a good find. For a day like today, I mean the water's over everything except a few spots. It's going to be rough today. I'm going to have to look, I'm going to look several hours here and see what I can come up with for a video, but I'm on the board. It's a silt. You know, that would have been used to, as, as a silt, you know, like a little axe. That's kind of cool. See, there's some rock coming out up in here. There's some material to sift, and there's artifacts in it. This is where the stuff's coming out. It just gets concentrated the farther you get towards the water, like a sluice box, basically. Um, I'm gonna look all around, and I will get back if I see anything else. I, like I said, I'm looking real high up on the bank. You can see all this stuff tumbling down out of here. Um, but right here, right there's the bottom of a nice blade. Man, that's a shame. And there's another flake right there. Let me wipe this off here. I'm looking real good in here. There's another artifact. You know, this would have come up and had a tip on it. Man, that's a really nicely made one. It's a little knife blade. Um, there's a little flake, you can see them. Little flake right here. Little flake of black. Blackish gray. Um, the points can even get caught up in these roots. You want to look everything real, real good. Um, I see another flake right in here. Right here. Another little flake. I'm taking screens where I can up in here and trying to find more stuff. Um, Be nice to find a nice point up in here. I'm trying. Later. I think I got a point. I've been out here. It's been an hour and a half since I found that last broken blade. And I'm just crawling up through this stuff at the top of the bank. Looking at all this stuff tumbling down. And see if you see it there. 
It's a blade or an airhead. Man, all right. I got something right here. Ooh, it's a nice little blade. It's nicely made. Nice color. That's a good little piece. It's probably a preform for an Amos point. I found tons of Amos points right below this, and that's about the right size. It's just an unnotched one, probably, that they made into a little knife. Look at that. So I got a few pieces. This ain't no, it takes a long time to find this stuff. You just don't come out and find airheads. I've looked at a lot of stuff. I got Flynn, I'll show it in my pocket. I'm gonna go one more place and sift at the mouth of a creek and see if I can't come up with anything there. I was kind of looking for a place to sift here, but you can see right here is the base of the bank and the water's right at it. So, man, I got another piece and I got that silt looking thing. I'll put this video on what I find today, regardless if I find anything else. Because a lot of you people, I think, are getting a distorted <coughs> image of airhead hunting. You sure as heck do not find nice airheads every trip out. You can spend all day and just not find absolutely nothing. Um, especially when the water's changing and then if the water goes down in the summer, you might as well forget after you look these places if you're not sifting and the water stays at one layer level like it does in the summer down at its lowest you have real problems finding stuff it can get rough you can go months and not find an arrowhead surface hunting months so you need to keep that in mind see the fire rock tumbling down out I'm looking at all of it. Um, I'm looking at everything. So I found that drained a little and that was just a place I probably didn't look one time. There isn't much up here now. I don't see any rock coming out, but I got something, man. I'll get back at you later if I see anything else. It'll probably be on the next site. I'm gonna drive to a site where I can stand in the water and sift a little bit. That's, that's what we're gonna do. I gotta try to get a video later. All right, you can see here, this bank's, I'd say 25 to 30 feet straight up. And see how it's terraced? About right in there in the middle. See that second terrace is about where the Amos points right in there on that second terrace. So they're that deep below, I'd say they're 15 feet below the surface of the ground. That's where they're coming out. That's about where I found that blade laying out. Come out in there. Um, there's really nothing. There's a river, river sediments over time up in there. There's flakes laying out all over this stuff and you'll see the fire rock tumbling down. That's kind of the principle today. You can see fire rock sticking out right there. The heck, that's a, that's a core or something right there. That's a piece of fire rock. But you can see the piece of fire rock right there. It's tumbled down out of that layer up here. But I'm going to a different spot now. I just wanted to show you the types of spots I'm looking here. This bank's just huge. Later. All right, here's like what I got on my first hunt. I got this like flint silt looking thing. That's an old break. It could have even just been made that way if it was hafted into something. It's a, the cross section of it. It's like a silt. Um, my favorite finds this little blade. It's pretty nice and materials nice and You can see it's nicely worked. You know for a day like today the waters at the extreme high level I didn't think I was gonna find nothing. I got another broken blade. It's busted in these flakes You know some of it's pretty nice material But that's a look at that. I'm gonna eat something. And I'm gonna get sift someplace. I'll be in water sifting I found stuff there. It's a high water site I can get to and at least have a chance if I find anything else. I'll get back to it later. All right. I got my screen right here on a Piece of a wood dock and I'm scraping in here below this high bank. There's all kinds of stuff that's been found here um, I'm just scraping the base clay see the rock and stuff in there I've got points like this. It's a lot harder when the water's up digging underwater like this, but I have a chance at something. See, look at the fire rock on that. You can see it's stuck in that clay bank.
There's Flint Red Flint here, Burb Points. There's some Table Rock stuff. But it'd be nice to find a Burb Point. All I'm doing is pushing along the base clay. Let's see what we got in here. I see Flint. Right. Right there's a little flake. See it? And all this cracked up. Burn up rock. I don't see any flake I see. You know, there's another one right there. A little flake. This is the principal. So I see. I have a chance. If I'm finding flakes of flint, I have a chance at an air ahead, but um, this is bad condition. See, there's another tiny, tiny little flake of that green stuff. So three flakes of flint there and a few shovelfuls of dirt. I'm gonna move along in here and take some screens and see what I can get up. You know, the chances of finding something are slim, but I'm out, so I have a chance. Later. I'm into a pretty good rock pocket of rock, and it's all coming right out of this bank here. I can see the in situ layer. It's going right through there, and this water's coming up and hitting it when it gets to this, and washing this stuff right down below this bank. See, there's flakes right on that screen. I could get a point in here in these conditions because I have a sifter. You know, water at the highest point can hardly surface hunt today and I'm still finding stuff. See, look at that material, it's perfect. And I feel with the blade of my shovel and just push it along slow and scoop up that gravel. Feels excellent in here. I've already seen Flint look at that material. All right. You know, I might not find nothing here, but this is good instruction. You can look anytime you want. If you have a place to come, even if it's underwater, you want to use the shovel as an extension of your hand. You get to the point where you can feel the stuff and you're going pushing it so slow, you're not breaking nothing. It's just the grounds mushy like pudding let's see what we got in here man i see flakes up there at the top see there's a little see that little piece of flint ridge there's a big flake of green right there there's a little flake of kashokton there's a flake of flint ridge right there there's three flakes just out of a few shovelfuls of dirt could just be anything. There, see the green piece and then the red piece up there. I'll look around here for a while and try to find at least one work piece. Um, you know, there's another flake down here, a flint ridge. See if I can't get it, it's hard to see right there. Just all in this a few shovelfuls of dirt. Huh. Now that's all I see in this one. I'll do a few more screens. And if I see anything in the sifter, I will get back to you and we'll look at it together. But this is the principle behind everything I'm doing. Right here. Below high banks. And you see there's flakage and every almost every screen there's that real pretty green stuff i'll try to get some later all right see this see this fire rock in this it's hard clay bank but this is the occupation level right here there's charcoal there's a little tiny flake of flint right there um you can see it running all the way down through there and this water is coming up and hitting it and then boom it falls down and then the ohio river the current's not very strong in between the dams. It's almost like a lake. So the stuff really doesn't move. If a cache falls out of there or a whole group of blades and you find a couple of them, chances are they're all right here just laying and they'll lay here for years. 
all the points that come out of this bank and all the material out of this uh, this is about 10 foot all the material that comes out of this is going to be laying right here and that's what you want to sift that's the principle behind this so i hope that explains it more in depth you can see what i'm doing i'm standing here in about 10 inches of water just scraping this and there's flint in every screen i'm filling up my screen we'll look at the screen together after i get it filled up later my screen filled here we'll pull it out and sift it down and see what we got hopefully got a big coin in it i doubt it on a day like today You know, I see a real nice flake of Flint Ridge right, right there. Look at that pretty stuff. Man, red and trimmed. Man. Yeah, there was one flake in there anyway. Let me flake this stuff off. You want to kind of flake them leaves off like that. The shotgun shell there. A plastic one. I don't see much else. You know, there's a flake right... Right there. There's another flake. Here's another one. Right here. Piece of heat-treated stuff. You know, that's all I see in that one. Um, I'll get back. I'll fill another screen here in a minute, and we'll look at it together. Well, right there's a another flake. Look at that translucent little finishing flake, a flint ridge. Well, there's still flakes showing up. Here's another one. Look at that stuff. Looks like opal. That's flint ridge too. Huh. There's a, a good bit of material here to look. I'll get back after I fill another one. Walked straight by this, I started looking up in under these lips, and look here. There's a big piece of Flint Ridge. That's some kind of tool. Look at that. That's beautiful material. Laying out up in there. Nothing to brag about, but still it's a find. That's tumbled right out of this bank. Um, I'll take a few more screens. The water's just too high. I just wanted to come out because I got to look every day. Um, but um, hopefully that uh, sifting techniques there helped you out so you know what I'm doing. I'll probably take a few screens right in here around this plastic thing. Later. I'll fill this screen and show it to you. I can feel a lot of rock in here. You can see the rock tumbling out there. Um, it's tumbling right down that base clay right here under the water. I can see fire rock right on that. I'll scoop this up and we'll see if we get any flint in it. That was a big piece of Flint Ridge. I can feel a nice fire pit here with the shovel. See the fire rock on there? wet thing out of there give us a little bit more room see look at all that good looking rock it's what you want and you know I'm in the middle of nowhere there ain't no back recent activity on this bank at all this is all fire pit. It's washed straight out of here like that line of it I was showing you. I'll fill this up good. This layer is only like 10, 12 inches thick. So it won't take long to wipe this out. Man, I, it feels good. You can tell with the shovel what you're hitting, pushing through that like the ground's like pudding. It's not solid ground. It's mushy because it's, it's had water on it. So you're not breaking nothing. 
it's like loose pudding is basically what it is with arrowheads and when the water is up like this and I'm just slowly sliding that shovel over the base clay scooping that stuff up off of it let's see what we got here see right there's the base clay I get down on it and you get pieces of it in the screen get that big rock out of there let's see what we got here now look at that whoo that looks good take the big rocks out stay them out so you're not jostling stuff all around looks good don't see much flint in this one there oh, there's one flake right right there let me get it there's a little flake off the manufacturer or something don't see much else Thought there might be something in that here with that blade laying out well there's another flake flint ridge look at that yeah I don't see nothing else in this one I'll try to get another screen together later but I'm gonna get up out of here it's there should be five foot of beach here and it, the water's clear at the base of the bank I had to sift underwater. I found out one tool out of Flint Ridge, but that's it. I've been here about an hour. Um, I hope the instructional on the sifting helps some of you guys out. So all you gotta do is look for this sign in the bank and then get down on the, all of it's gonna be laying right at the base of the bank and out on the beach, all of it. It's not gonna move. It's gonna lay right there. Some of it will eventually wash out the deep water and some of it will get pounded by waves if it's a gravel shore sometimes there's gravel layers coming out of the bank if there's gravel down there you want to look at all the time because the boat waves will pound the artifacts into the gravel and the bigger rocks and bust them all up and then you'll get freeze and thaw damage in the winter freeze thawing can blow the points apart it just can pop them apart just like fire popping but anyway that'll be it on this one I hope that helped you, and I hope everybody's doing okay with this virus going around. Stay safe, everybody. Later.